Hello sailors, I am Admiral Atlas, and welcome back to Civilization V India. Uh, last episode, we expanded to the sea, and we built our first boat. So, that's pretty cool. The Admiral now has a fleet to command. <laughs> and we're just kind of holding it there. So, what are we going to build in Mumbai? We're going to build a library because I like a smart populace you know they do lots of great things and there they are there it is our war elephants fear the mighty war elephant like actually you probably should fear this this is a very strong unit um, so that's gonna be rough I can't remember if these, the Indian, I know, because I know the Siamese, they also have war elephants, but I can't remember if theirs are stronger or these ones are stronger. We should do the Terracotta Army. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good one to have. Landed elite to ideology. Adopt the policy. Land a delete. Sounds good to me. Alright. Since we are super wealthy. Oh, Florence. But oh, we are really wealthy. We're going to purchase a brand new cargo ship. Yeah, I know. I was just, but. And now that you are done, what do we do? What do we do? Caravan, established trade route with Hanoi. The unit needs orders. Just stay alert, you know? These elephants here to defend the borders of our kingdom. Alright. Processing turn for Japan. So yeah, the turns are going to take a little bit longer to process now because there's a lot more going on and we've discovered a lot more. Oh, excellent. We'll go to Ponte. And establish a trade route with Osaka and Tokyo. Osaka's going to be a bit more profitable for us. So there we go. We'll be making bank now. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll make an alliance with Japan. They seem pretty good to ally. And you're done now. We'll, we'll just develop this city as much as possible. Because uh, it was it's a little less developed than the capital. Damn it! Japan taking my Terracotta Army Thunder. <sighs> Alright, well. We got a spearman. From Hanoi. So that egg brings our total spearman count up to two. Not bad. And what do we want? What do we want to build next? Stable. That's actually really good. Uh, what do we want next? You know what? I kind of want the compass. Because that gives us the Galeas, which is the first ranged naval unit. Yeah, and again, as the Admiral, I need a strong navy. <laughs> um, it makes sense, right? To have a strong navy if you're an Admiral. It's not like I'm a general, so I don't need a strong army, though I probably will have a strong army. We're actually doing alright, I think. Uh, we're low in literacy. We're not going to be We are! We are pretty high in GNP, which is pretty good, and population, though we're not number one in land, or manufactured goods, or crop yield, or approval, but we're not number, we're not last in approval, so there's always that. <laughs> Alright, Mumbai, we're doing pretty good, let's go and get that great lighthouse, let's see if we can't get another wonder, there must be an Egypt in this game, because, ah, uh, no, nah, there's probably not, but Egypt does tend to steal all the wonders. 
Oh, gold mage ended. Sad face. Florence thongs for culture. We might actually get that. Okay, let's go get some iron. Uh, we got two iron sources, and we'll probably end up getting that one as well. Actually, uh, we can't buy that tile yet. <laughs> so, we'll just wait. We're almost into the AD times. We're in 1 AD time. So, you know, get ready for, like, Jesus. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, and we'll go ahead and head to that mine and get some iron. And then once we have iron, we can build swordmen. Two to be exact, because this is a source of two iron. But that'll round up our army. We've got a ranged unit. We want a circus. A circus. Actually, we do want a circus. Because it doesn't cost any money to maintain, and it just gives us happiness, so... And I think we're making it good enough. Alright, so choose some research. We'll do mathematics. So we'll get one range weapon, I mean one siege engine, so the catapult. We'll do two archers, two spearmen, two triremes. One war elephant, no, two war elephants, and two swordmen. And that should round out our army. We'll just do two of each type of unit. There are, I can't remember how many types of units there are. There are your melee combat units, your ranged combat units, your siege combat units, your mounted combat units, and your anti mounted combat units. So, our, and then as far as ships, there's ranged and non ranged, obviously. Okay, Montezuma's created pyramids. Don't really care about the pyramids, to be honest. Let's see, what is next? National College. That's actually pretty good. And we can found a pantheon. Goddess of love. That's good, because we're going to have really high population, so... Alright, excellent. Mathematics. What are we going to do with you? Go and keep just constructing farms. This will become a agriculture. Ooh, engineering. I like getting a great wall. Just because it looks cool around your whole empire. <laughs> so we'll see if we can't get that. We may not be able to, but it's worth a shot. Worth a shot. Uh, it, it does. It looks pretty cool. I mean, we do need to connect. There are two little promises, though. On Tom and Evo. Apparently, they were out there. Hmm, God. It's probably here. Ooh, there we go. Now, the Great Wall will connect us, connect our whole empire. <laughs> If we get it. If not, it's okay. It's nice to have your empire connected anyways. Alright. Mm, we're not doing too great in the culture wars. Mm, that's rough. You need to get get good. <laughs> you need to get good. One more turn. Instrumental. One more turn, and we shall prevail. We shall have the Great Wall. Uh, let's do currency, because I do like gold as well. So, that'll be nice to have. Hopefully no one builds the Great Wall. Alright, what are we going to do here? We're not going to build a fort, okay? We're not. We're simply not. Uh, we're going to build a plantation up there. And you are going to build the Great Wall of China, which is going to take 10 turns. No, I don't want to declare war on the Indonesians. Stop asking me. <laughs> We're not trying to get into any wars here. 
Not yet, at least. We might go for it. Damn it! Someone took the great lighthouse. That really makes me mad. <sighs> this always happens to me. Every time I play, someone's probably gonna take the great wall too. Now that I said it, it's gonna happen. <laughs> well, that's just my luck. I'm not too lucky with this game. Not too lucky at all. We may want to advance into the medieval era with metal casting or oh, guilds. Guilds actually would be a bit better. So we will. We're gonna go with guilds, yeah. And we'll get ourselves into that lovely medieval era. We're doing best as far as population goes. So that's nice. Alice Trade Room. Which one's gonna give us? Ah, uh, we're gonna make bank on this one. With the boy. <laughs> yeah, ocean trade networks are a lot more profitable because you can think about it. You can carry more stuff on a ship than you can on a camel. Okay, the camel is like Silk Road, and this is like Indian Ocean trade route. Uh, we could do another cargo ship. I think we should do a market. I want this to be a wealth colony. Not really a colony, but you get my point. I want it to be a wealthy city. We only have four more turns until the wall is built. Unfortunately, we won't go around Mumbai, but that's okay. We can. I can deal with that. <laughs> Whew. We're almost into the medieval era now. This will be interesting to see what goes on here. Uh, we're pretty good. We got two spearmen. Let's upgrade into a composite one. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Then we're, after this, we'll start building some military units. Okay. 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 Just alert. Next turn. Yay! We got the Great Wall. Hopefully, no one builds it this turn, which I don't think anyone will. Yay! We got it. The Great Wall of China. And we're in the medieval era too. <laughs> All right, caravan. Establish trade route. Choose production. Let's go ahead and get a swordsman. Choose research, drama, and poetry. It's only three turns, so. And we need one more war elephant, one more archer, two more swordsmen, and a catapult. We need two catapults. Why not? Right? And we're gonna build a trading post, so that gives us gold. Uh, that's pretty much all trading posts are good for, but, you know, that's nice. I think the Great Wall expands once when you hit, I want to say, the Renaissance. That would make sense, because the Ming expanded the Great Wall in the Renaissance, so that makes sense if it did expand the Great Wall. It wasn't Renaissance for the Ming, it was Renaissance for the Europeans, obviously, the Ming were just pretty much doing what they had done for thousands of years, because China was super far ahead of everyone else for a really long time. That trend is starting to become true again. Uh, but not quite. Alright, what else do we need? Another composite bonus. From you. Let me go ahead. We'll actually get. You need some. You need to catch up in some wall. In some, uh. You need to catch up in some buildings. Alright, so I'm gonna give you a temple. We're gonna go with civil service, which is pretty cool. It gives us the the lands lands connect. Which the lands connect is uh, it's Basically, uh, it's a cheaper pike than 
and you can only use them as mercenaries. They used to be a custom German unit, but in Brave New World they changed that so that they're just mercenary pikemen. And there's your swordsman. Cool, right? Spices and cocoa. Yeah, I can take that deal. That deal's pretty good. I think we need another city. Maybe we should set up a colony over here. Nah, I want to kind of stick to this island here. This will be our island, except for that little part of Japan. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. That oh, was sawmill. That could be useful. We'll build two sawmills, you know? Okay, actually, that kind of makes sense. Well, the Mayans technically should. I don't think the Mayans are in this game. So that makes sense that you complete Chichen Itza. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. It's like when Egypt does the pyramids. Oh, that's what it's supposed to happen. But India obviously didn't have the Great Wall of China. As is the name, Great Wall of China. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, we got a lot of gold. So we actually can't afford another war elephant. And we're going to have a fairly large army. Hey, we have the highest literacy. We might actually go for a science victory then, because I don't think Korea is alive and well here. Uh, so we might go for... We're sixth in army size, but that's going to change here pretty soon. So, don't have to worry about that much longer. Uh, yeah, we got lots of gold, and plus I want to keep them my ally. And we need to build some ships. I just realized that we were supposed to get the Galeas, but we didn't even go with theology. Uh, we'll build a farm. Yeah, they're trading all sorts of stuff from Tokyo to Mumbai. Alright, there we go. Civil service. A great engineer. Oh, right. Manufacturing. What has got a little. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense because, like, furnaces and stuff, but. Whatever. We got extra war elephants now. We need swordmen, though. One more sword, swordsman. Move the war looking over here. Defend our borders. Ah, yes. Now we can do this. Uh, we will do aesthetics because we can open that cultural victory, you know? Chivalry. Ah, that'll make our war elephants irrelevant. So we'll wait on that one. <laughs> We'll wait on that one for a little bit. Yeah, so... You know, it's been kind of boring, not a lot of wars going on. But that's the life of a trading empire. Trade is not glamorous. It is... but it works a lot, and it's better in the long term than war, obviously. Well, war is probably just as good in the long term, because the short term destruction of war, short term trade is. Oh, wow. Short term trade is a lot better than war, mainly because war destroys the environment, so. And then what do we need? Catapults. That should be it for our strong military. So we actually may mount an invasion of T Ray. So that'll be exciting for you guys. Some war. Some war and famine. <laughs> um, Riders Guild. Okay. We need some culture. We want Oracle as culture. And it'll be, you know, it'll satisfy one of these city states. I don't know which one. Um, but for now, I think we're gonna stop it here. This has been a this has been Admiral Atlant Admiral Atlas. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for 
and make sure to hit that bell, you know, so that you get all the updates when I release content, which, by the way, is daily, weekdays, week, uh, Monday through Saturday. Uh, so I'm just going to take the end of this video to put out some channel things. Monday through Saturday, I will be uploading daily. Every single day, there will be a new episode for you to watch. And it's going to be, and I'm going to do one game at a time for now. And so it's going to be Civilization for a couple weeks, probably. So look forward to that. Uh, anyways, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I have been Admiral Atlas, signing off.